So I'm waking up today and I realize something. And something I, I thought that I knew, but I really, really feel today. Have you ever felt like you just weren't being yourself? Like you're, you're like, I'm showing up differently than I ever have my whole entire life. There has to be something wrong, like something that is a misalignment. And it could be just ideas here. Um, starting a business, learning to believe in yourself, learning to, to appreciate the exposure, appreciate, you know, not hate it or run away from it, or just give, you know, a little bit of, you know, hey, this is me. And then you're out again for about a week and you go, hey, this is me, fly by. And you're like, hey, wait, I woke up today realizing I've been showing up more and that's good. You know, I've been doing that for years, but when starting a business affects everybody else in your life, you change as a person, you learn about money instead of working for somebody and just going in and just doing your stuff, you're learning how to make money. You're learning about yourself and how you deal with pressures that you never had before. So you start seeing this other side of yourself and it gets quite scary. And there's so many reasons why. And, and of course it's related with our background and how we, we manage stress. And that's why I do these every week is this conversation about it's okay to get lost. But if we make a choice right now, today, to acknowledge that whoever's showing up is not 100% me, or you've been going through your journey and you know that you've been feeling better than you have in the past, and you realize that you do feel a little bit lost relative to when you look at you know maybe before you started your business or before you got in maybe even like in a relationship that doesn't fit you i mean whatever it is in your life that you're showing up with today and you realize that you want to be a superstar but you're not there a hundred percent and you can remember that that year or that day or that those years when you just were like at the top of your game and you're like who who am i why am i not my biggest superstar so what if we make a choice this weekend I was coaching somebody and I said, well, all these words that you're writing about you, like this is who you are. You just don't see that. And I know something about her past. And I was like, that's the stuff that you are, that kind of overshadows you when you're going through these tough times. It's been really tough times for about 20 years. So, how do we become a superstar? It's just that we can't expect miracles. We can't expect things to happen overnight. But what if you figured out, why am I not showing up the way that I believe in myself? Because there were times I believed in myself a hundred percent. I just was in Zen mode and I was just kicking some ass. Didn't care about what people thought because I knew people really liked me because I had, I had people around me that fiercely supported me because I was in alignment. So I want to ask you, is it your time to get in alignment? Your time to really figure out what is stopping you, but not through the brain and trying to go through all this stuff and it becomes this big upheaval. So what if you live every day like you are right now, but you know you're in the gap. And from that gap, you know you can see way ahead of where you want to be it can be financially it can be because I, let's, let's talk about money for a moment and when it comes to superstar it's not that you're getting money to be able to buy everything you want and have this status and if it is it's hard to bring that positive energy in because when the shit hits the fan <laughs> you're going to be afraid of losing your things but what if money is related with energy representing what you're doing? You get to go on vacations, you get to buy the things you want, but you get to, you get to, you get to. It's not like I have to have the perfect everything. Then we're in alignment with energy, alignment in the superstar status. I'm sorry, I have to get another holder. I know you're, you hear it. 
different. So what do you need? Why don't you write the top five things that you know that are you, that create the superstar status person? And it may take a moment because you're like, uh, or you, uh, you might just throw it out there and then naysay yourself like, why am I not those things? That means that we're dealing with stress. We're dealing with stress right now. So how do we relieve, reprieve from this? Just know you're a superstar. That's all it is. That's all you need. Because not everybody in your life right now has to believe you're a superstar, but come on, step into it. And notice those good times that you were like fiercely in alignment with yourself. You loved yourself, almost stuck up, but then, you know, the ego got out of it and you go, this is the alignment. This is where I'm at. This is where you want to be. Now look at your beginnings and say, every time something goes down, I shut myself off. And so I need to clear that. I don't need to revisit my younghood, but I do need to understand that I'm not going to show up the best me when I'm having a hard time. So write your superstar. How many things can you say that are great about you? That is you. That's you before you dealt with the stuff when you were growing up. Because that's stuff that you dealt with and it's nobody else's fault because we can't be blaming everybody. This is just way on superstar status if you do that. But it's the knowledge to understand. And so I asked the person I was coaching, I said, when was your best time? And she picked an age. And I said, go back to that. Go back to that. When was your best time? When was your most favorite time? What was going on? Bring that energy. I call mine sexy 17. There's something, not that I was 17 exactly. It was the vibrant space of being a teenager, but being fully aware that you're just feeling really, really good. And not in the ego where you're like, you know, saying shitty things about people, knocking people off their block, but more you could see you. What was that age? Give yourself some time to look at those things that make you take a step forward today. Take a breath in. Breathe in the essence of just that. Think about where this can take you. Today, I'm finally realizing I'm ready to speak out my next level of superstar status because I realize, and I told my hubby this the other day, I'm like, I am not showing up. Like, this is not everything that I represent in my whole life. I've been working out since I was in kindergarten. I'm a scrapper. I'll just kick some butt, you know, to get what I, what I need. But I came into my heart. And I had to get comfortable with that. I used to shut so many people out. And when you open up your heart, it's kind of a space where you stop feeling so ginger about opening your heart. You start recognizing that that's a wonderful thing. It's one of the safest places to be in because then people around you will fill your heart. Those people will connect with you. The other people that don't like people that are ooh, will bounce off. You'll bring in the right people into your life. You don't have to think cerebral wise. What do I need to do to get this? Get that. I hope this all makes sense. Go out there and be your biggest superstar. I love you. I love and appreciate you. Hi, Eric. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.